so I'm calling the meeting to order at 8.25. Sorry for <laughs> being a little late, everybody. Okay. Um, so first order of business is to approve the minutes from last time. Can I make a motion? Second. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chrissy, for doing the minutes. Um, financial statements. Uh, so the warrants are here. There are six warrants uh, totaling $53,760.25 uh, for your signature. Uh, the general fund and school choice reports were included in the email. I do have copies if anybody wants them printed out. Um, uh, there's no major issues or concerns to report at this time. I expect that we're on track to meet budget accordingly right now. Um, the cleanup of the accounts was completed. Uh, looked at the budget workbook compared to what was in the database and cleaned up any accounts here. Um, any accounts that might be overdrawn, um, been working with Chrissy or other department heads to move funds accordingly to make sure that we are in compliance with our budget. Uh, and then the only other matter to discuss is the FY21 budget timeline. Are there any questions about expenditures to date? No, there was just that issue that came up um, with replacing the amplifier. It didn't seem to fall into any any line. There any, and you said there was a line that should come from, but it's not. Yeah, it so. <coughs> Um, DESE changed some of the function codes and there is a new line that's for items such as that. Um, so we're going to have to add that line but pull from somewhere else because there's no money in that line item. So you and I can work together and, okay. and see where we can pull it from. I don't think it's going to be a ton of it. What is the name of The um, PA system in the gym can no longer work in mm -hmm. the amplifier which I believe was original to the building so oh it wasn't part of the phone system that no um that's a, that's the whole school pa but the one that goes in the gym and the gym teacher uses it a lot to play his is music. it just a simple is it just a simple <coughs> amplifier mm -hmm. okay how are you going to play those new all those eight tracks no way you got the <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna come around again, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the records are coming. Good thing is they hung on to. Them. Yes, <coughs> records came back. That's right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Any other questions about expenditures to date? Uh, so the FY21 budget calendar timeline was in the packet that Donna sent, not in the paperwork that I sent. Um, I think this is later on the agenda, but probably makes sense to yeah. just kind of go through it now, if that's okay. Um, so during the first two weeks of December, I will be meeting with uh, Darius and department heads and principals to go over needs and wants for FY21. Um, and then I will be working on building the FY21 draft budget during the month of December with the goal of it being completed by the end of December. And then we will begin budget conversations January 7th, the school committee meeting, uh, continue on the February 11th school committee meeting, and then we will present um, likely in March, that March meeting to town um, finance committee. And then you can see the town meeting schedule and the town election schedule below. Any questions about the timeline? Mm -hmm. Comments? We Should just be pretty to similar to what's been done in the past. Do we have any sense of where we're going to end up at the end of this year? Like, no idea. I mean, it's our spending's on track this year, but yeah, well, we yeah. have no idea. The town. We still don't even know what, I mean, we got to wait for the house one to come out. The, the oh. whole kind of waiting to see what the, the state is going to do for funding. Are mm -hmm. they going to fund what they say they're passing? You know, all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's a long. And I think the account we were worried about last year is healthy now, the school choice account. Really? Yeah, I mean, I don't have um, the current balance with me, but we had talked about that at one of our first meetings, and it, you know, you've got a good chunk built up in there. 
um, and I don't think you're planned to use all of it this year. Um, so you should be able to roll some into that again as well. But we ended up with a little more than we thought at the end of the year, which yeah. is the big thing. Right? I just, it's, sometimes it's helpful to do a sort of end of year review with the town before we go into the budget discussion. So I might just think about if there's an opportunity for maybe for me to go and just tell okay. them, update them on where things stand in the budget so they can have sort of the background before they go in, we go into the next year. I think we did that last year. We had a meeting with them in like November. Do you remember that? We did have a meeting. I don't remember with when. the school committee. Like, it was earlier. It, yeah, it was earlier. It? Pre, like yeah, a prelim. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a capital budget meeting this right. week uh, yeah. for the town, so I can bring that up as a question. Of maybe is there an opportunity to just update them on where things stand with the budget? Right. I mean, like, part this took was we really don't know where things stand. You know I mean? With last year's we, budget, though, we well, can, we can see we're right, say, right, like, right. here's how we ended up the year, okay. or, you know, this is what we're expecting for this year, but I get yeah. it, that we yeah. don't really know this year yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll, do, I'll reach out and do that. Any other comments or questions? No, I think I want to make an appointment to sit down with you just to look at what's going on so far this year. Sure. Yeah, Katie, that, that was December 11th. That was December. Thank you. Yeah, anytime you want to meet. And then I'll be setting up, um, probably do the poll for Vince will to choose their meeting times soon before Thanksgiving. So you can get those on the calendar too. Thank you. So, public comment. We have no public. Mary. Mary, anything? Um, no unfinished, unfinished business. New business, I will hand off to Darius. All right, um, we just did a budget timeline. And, right, so we're yeah. good with that. Um, do you have a vote to, to approve the budget timeline? I think that's just what best practice has been, but. Um, I make a motion to make accept a timeline for FY21 budget. I second. All in favor? Okay. I'm not sure why we're voting it, but I guess it's just everybody's <laughs> acknowledging that that's our timeline, so we're, we'll hold ourselves to it. Um, the next one is the school improvement plan. I, I understand it's not completely finished, but um, you're still trying to meet with your group. Yeah. Um, there's not going to be a huge departure from last year. Uh, we're still working on some of those goals, but there's some activities within the goals that are going to change. Should we table it until next yeah. month? That's what I think. Mm -hmm. we'll table it until next need month. Do we need the motion in or anything like that? I don't know. It's just, it's, you know, you're just not taking a vote, so you're not taking any action, okay. so um, you're okay with that. The next one, the capital project. We have Bill Hildreth here with us. Facilities director for those with camera, I guess. It's the introduction <laughs> for those at home. Um, and so we're going to kind of, last year, um, nice the Capital Improvement Committee came through and walked through yeah. and saw everything. But um, so this has <coughs> been um, Bill's first run through the capital plan. Um, and we'll just kind of go through with Bill and Chrissy and myself, I guess, um, talk about what what's on the list. What we'll be asking for for consideration, mm -hmm. and um, answer any questions there too. So, can we uh, start with what's been done? Because I feel like a lot has been sure. done recently with the capital kind of projects, like yeah. that's been accomplished in the mm -hmm. last year. Just to remind ourselves, it's always good to <coughs> start there. Maybe we, before your time. We, we can well, we did some classroom floors, right? Yeah, we did yeah. two classroom floors. So um, great. Fifth and sixth, and then our, then our service be completed. No, we did. First and third. First and the third. The office has not been completed yet. All right. Um, but there's still money for that from last yep. year. They do a couple every year. Yep. Um, so we're hoping that next year we can finish off the, the classrooms. Mm -hmm. um, they'll still be, the year after that, I would want to do the out-of-school time room and the, the OTPT Spanish room. Um, but obviously the priority is the classroom spaces. So we're in good shape there. 
Um, we have nice new climate control in the <laughs> in the office. So in the outer office, my office, and in Nurse Estee's office, we have a mini split. Um, and that was put in at the end of the summer. And so every place has window units that were not efficient, mm -hmm. not security, and yeah, that's a good thing. Um, what else? That's what well, I was your basketball floor? The floor the was done, oh. but that was sort of... I, yeah, I feel like I've talked about that. <laughs> well, well, this, this is point the time for the season right, now, right. so get ready. Right. So the, the, carp, the floors <laughs> in the AC were the, the two capital projects right. from last year. The okay. other ones came out of they came out of maintenance budget, so they were doing the floor, came out was, of maintenance budget. Okay. And um, the other, other... Was the generator out of the The generator was out of the previous years. We just completed That was an old year. project that yeah. was finally and, completed, so that was awesome. Yeah. But you and, and, you heard that and we haven't, yeah, I was going to say, we haven't had a meeting since then, and, um, or at least here, and we did a full day of school running on a generator the day without Excellent. the windstorms. So. Oh, yeah. No hiccups. No. I was here a bunch of times to meet with Keith Bardwell. And it, was, it was a really good thing. We figured out how many gallons an hour it uses under load, mm -hmm. so how long the tank would last, and so on and so forth. And with that, um, the town, was, I guess the agreement was they are going to main, um, maintain the fuel level of the generator. Okay. But we are to hire someone to maintain the generator. So I have actually, mm -hmm. I've actually gone through that process. Um, I just need to figure out where that's going to go in, in our budget, <clears throat> if there's a spot for it yet or not. Mm -hmm. So that I, I, I'd like to be part of those budget talks too. Oh yeah, you, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. you're under so, department, department heads. heads yeah. yeah, I know. The <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> but specifically, when the two of you get together, I want to talk about the, the nurses' office and some other stuff. I just got a quick question. Uh, is it diesel? Yes, it's diesel. Yep. And for winter time, we have the right. Yep. Stuff in there for winter time. You know, <laughs> congealing yep. and all that stuff. Yeah, it keeps using the same thing he has for all his equipment. Yep. Okay. Good. Yep. And it does a test run every Wednesday morning. Yep. How much was it burning every hour? Do we have an idea? I do have it written down. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just asking. We did, we did. If it was five You know ten. this was Bob's pet project that he really helped make this happen. I love it. <laughs> it's, it's a long time. It's really I've been, been, been nice asking and they think no. Right. Yeah. Um, and sprinklers, can I ask what, where, where are we, do we have anything more on the sprinklers? Or we're done no. for the moment, right? With the sprinklers? Done for the moment. Okay. Was there any money left? Was there any money left over, do you know, from the sprinkler project off the top of anybody's head? I don't think there was money left over because I thought we went over. Yeah, I think we went over. Okay, so, I'm just... Um, I can, yeah, I can, we can look into that. So we don't really have any lingering projects, which is nice. Nope. Awesome. Okay. All right. So now we're, now we're on to new projects. Now we're on to capital... capital oh, I, I have one more question. Oh. Um, there's been, over the years, like the roof issues and the maintenance of that is that still on the list we do like for the ongoing maintenance <coughs> we do have some leaks around the skylights but they're that's on my they list. have to tighten the screws or something or check it every year yep. yeah we have a budget item in the maintenance that they okay. come and do that every year i'm gonna have them show me how to do it and i'll just show you just gonna climb up there <laughs> To save money where you can do one of those read to get the principal off the roof <laughs> and you can tighten the bolts wire up there. There's been new screws over the years. There's an in some there's screws a, never touched anything. anything that has to go to the oh, you? Excuse okay. me. We can look into it and see if it's been there. <coughs> but this, it, you know, since the skylight is still leaking and it's been leaking Two for three hours, I think, and they've been leaking for years. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> Many years. I mean, it's on his list. So I, I know. Let's, I just, get, let's get to his list and we okay, can bring I'll that up. Okay, let's list. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. You're doing a job. We don't want to have too much. So. <laughs> exactly. All right. So the first one we have on the list, um, you, can build, you, can edit, you can add editorial as we talk about it, is to continue our floor and replacement. We have, that's where I came up, fifth and sixth. That's next year's. Um, the two classrooms, um, fifth and sixth, in the nurse's office. Um, if that hasn't been completed yet. Right. And but did, sorry, but that we have money for the nurse's office, yes. right, from last year? We do. So that's just a, to get finished. Kind Correct. Of thing. Okay. Correct. And so again, that is a, we probably can reduce, right now the number in there is 20,000 that we asked for last year. We probably can reduce that to the nurse. How much was it per classroom, just about? Um, you can't reduce it a whole lot. Maybe like 3,000 you could reduce. Okay. So, so 
Well, I'd rather just do a third classroom. Because you're going to take that off. That was part of <coughs> FY20, right? The nurse's office? The nurse's office, right. We just He just carried that into floor replacement. So. Um, Is that a separate that one? That's not a new request. It's not a new request. Correct. And that's what I was saying. The, the number is 20,000 that we carried from last year for doing floors. So we would reduce that by the nurse's office. And that's what we want have left over? No, yeah. no, no, this is what we're asking for for next year. So I would say leave it and aim for three classrooms instead. All right. Let's look at how, many, see classrooms, what else how many classrooms what else we have left. The idea is so well, it was going to be two next year and three the year after, so I, we could do that. So if we did the nurse's office this year, mm -hmm. um, then I'd love to do four, five, and six and get the get, get, all get that into the building done. Um, I'm just going to change it in here. Because the, does the money get carried over, if it says for floors, does it get carried over from one year to another? Okay, just until we spend it. Until it's spend it. If mm -hmm. there's extra money left over, we can go out for dinner. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. She said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, and Bill, so I'm, I'm updating it right in our, our shared program here. Thank you. So we'll have to just, we're going to have to um, double check that number. Yep. All right. The other one was is the upgrade of the kitchen hood. We had to undo a couple times. Yeah. Does anybody have any history with that? The kitchen hood upgrade. The note I have is it's due by code. It was recommended to do by code. So do I don't any know if anybody had any any backstory to that or not. I'm still working with Bob on some of these things. So all right. Do we have a ballpark of what something like that costs? I yeah. vaguely remember discussions about that, do you? Mm -hmm. What's the upgrade? Does this one not have the fire retardant to put out a fire? That's what I mean. I'm not exactly what sure what. So it's for That sounds ever, like what it would probably be or ventilation, but it has good ventilation. The it's upgrade is required or replacement? Uh, replacement upgrade. What, that's how the note reads. So Bob put in for 17000 on that, mm -hmm. and I can print out this all for you, mm -hmm. um, or send it all to all of you. However, well, that's the next kind of discussion is how you want this. Um, but so he has it for 17000 on the kitchen hood, so we'll get the rest of the um, background on that. The next one is um, that I'd like to look at next year's repair. Um, it's got to be repair, not replace the leaky skylights for seventeen for about 8000 rather. Um, if it's replaced, I'm sure that goes way up. Yeah, that was, that was for repairing of it. So, mm -hmm. um, and those are the ones in the cafeteria, well, correct? That's a hard time. I think when we did the, I'm sorry, I think, when we, I think when we did the roof, correct me if I'm wrong, did we get rid of one? one didn't we cover up one? Yeah, and we that's did. one of the ones that leaks. And the other one still leak, right? No, no, no. Oh, that one still leaks? That one still leaks. The one that's covered, covered up. Yeah. I think we covered, I mean, I. Right. It's been so a few years. Coming from the inside. It's an interesting the solution. There was some attempt to go back to the builder and get them to address a lot of this, wasn't there originally? And it never went anywhere, is my understanding. Who was that? You know? Quinville or Quin uh, Are you talking about the roofer or are you yeah, talking about Quinville? Quinville. Mm -hmm. Quinville. Yeah. So I think that just it got ended up with a dead end from what I, my impression was. And so we're now we're just dealing with whatever we can do to make it better. But I, I understand the energy committee is doing something with the roof. There was a whole lot a whole of discussion talk about lots and lots of yeah. different things. More, more of it had to do with what's happening under the roof. Right, yes. insulation. Yes. Ceiling the building. So that's different than that yep. wouldn't involve the skylights potentially. I was just wondering if you could kind of combine the efforts in a way that would help oh, sure. since that might be funded. I hope we're not going to take the roof off and put more insulation in. <laughs> no, it was about going up into the attic and oh. sealing things. I, I learned an awful lot about the... Cool. Yeah, so the they're doing a study with system. UMass. Um, I don't know if you're going to talk about this, but... Nope. Um, to make the building more energy efficient. <coughs> and there's some opportunity to do improvements as part of that. They were talking about some pretty big things. Yeah. Um, but we should find, we should make sure you guys are aware of that. All right, I, threw that on the list. I don't know where it landed. I was, I was 
trying to keep up with the conversation, but it was fairly technical. I got a copy not too long ago from John Edwards. I just haven't had time to dissect the whole thing yet. Maybe we yeah. Sounded good. Be an from what I guess to our. Maybe he should be. He could come. Yes, yes, we can invite him to the next meeting. <laughs> So um, those are the three main ones. The fourth one is a big one. We want to put it on the radar. Um, whether or not it gets funded this year is we're looking on getting estimates right now for the driveway as you, as you come in the parking lot. So mm -hmm. it's getting near end of life. You probably can sneak another year or two out of it, but um, it's one of those bigger ones that I imagine. Just looking at the numbers, we have over $100,000, and I think we got to get that on the capital. Wow. Yeah. I imagine it's over $100,000. That's a number I'm pulling out of the sky mm -hmm. using Frontier's estimate. Um, could this be about part half of, the, this, could this be a grant thing with a new type of asphalt or anything like that, possibly? Yeah, that's, that's possible. possible. That's possible. Um, they have a, uh, if you don't know, they have a, there's grant money out there for asphalt uh, that absorbs. Pervious. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, no, right. pervious uh, soaks in moisture and stuff. But then yeah. again, you got to have special stuff to put on top of it. You can't use your regular salt or rock no. salt. On no, no, no. You can. You don't want to use sand. Oh, you, you don't, don't want, want the fines of the sand to oh, fill, to fill up all that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. They yeah. actually, Darius and I went and saw it in action at um, the park and ride in Deerfield. Oh, really? And it works really. What, what they used. The impervious do, right they do it in the parking spots not on the dr main drives so the main drive is the regular old blacktop yeah. and then all your parking areas and right yeah it was on we were there in the rain with umbrellas and and the water sitting on top of the main loop mm -hmm. and then the parking spots were bone dry, dry. yeah they've actually done 91 from hatfield north, to from hatfield to vermont and it works that you don't have that spray from the car in front of you with your wipers having it it works um, the issue is that so right now we're looking at that with Deerfield um, because it's not only just it's not just the pavement; it's also creating um, water rain. What is the term? The name of it, like rain what? gardens, water yeah. gardens. So you run off drains. You, yeah, so your drain doesn't go like high powered flushing into a river and stuff. It's being drained through a. It's being absorbed through, so it's kind of a gender. Yeah, yeah, and so that's it's in combination with that. And while you get a grant, it. It's not exactly, and I'm learning this still, but it's not exactly like just cheaper. Like they're not gonna just pay for your parking lot. You're still gonna have to pay for the, what you know what I mean? So that's where we were kind of, we were thinking that, you know, Deerfield's looking at everything about Frontier as well, uh, Deerfield Elementary and Frontier, but it's still it's actually more expensive. Mm -hmm. The question is how much grant can you get to cover the extra expense to do the environmentally friendly? <coughs> <coughs> Finding out those balances, it's not a gift. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not a gift in the sense of you get the you get the grant and not have to pay for anything and everybody we're all happy and right. And, but it, can but it could possibly help. And it's you know um, they also want to make educational components out of it too, mm -hmm. um, understanding where water goes and create these things. But um, mm -hmm. so anyway, so that's the last one that we're putting on the list, not for next year. We're realistic about that. Yeah. Unless the the well, or they something. could allocate some money maybe to it. Correct. Well, yeah, we want to go. Up. Well, we want to put it on their radar so that they can, do, do, you know, depending on how they want to fund it. Mm -hmm. um, there was one other thing that came up as you guys were walking out of the office, and it doesn't, it's not an immediate emergency, but the carpets <coughs> are looking a little worn. I and mean, I didn't want to bring it up earlier because I thought we would have to replace it with tile, and I like the quiet. <laughs> what in here do you mean? Are these the throw carpets? No, or the. the um, in the office and down the two hallways, it's carpet. It's just like this. Oh, wall to wall carpet. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we can, we can make that probably part of. I would put that as part of our floor replacement. And if we can get ahead this year, we add it to next year. Yeah. Make it. You still want to? You want to still keep carpet? Yeah. You sure? I am. Well, <laughs> sound makes a difference. The noise so. in the hallways it would be. It's also like less institutional to have a little bit of. And the so, noise until that first kid gets uh, sick on it, and then you have to clean up. <laughs> There's got to be some new. I'm well. sure the kids have gotten sick on me. Well, <laughs> but the thing about the hallway and the office is that we don't have kids sitting on that carpet the way that we do in the classroom. So. And it gets cleaned every day anyway. Yep. So, what about the tables in the dining in the 
dining hall. The cafeteria. I like that. I think we're going to call the, the, the dining hall. hall. <laughs> do, do we get any tables? Wasn't that on the list? That no, was last not, year we, we talked about We had about been it. talking about if there but, was money left over, yeah. but it was... We got very conservative at the end of last year. Okay. Remember, yeah. because we were very concerned about school carrying choice. enough school choice mm -hmm. number over to deal with any. That's the only thing we have to talk about with any when we create the school end report for to bring to the finance, I don't finance or select board. Um, is understanding that we have to hold a certain amount of money there because right. of the fluctuation of school choice and the dependent on the budget. But at the end of last year, we had kind of being conservative, first year conservative. Right. We didn't do that. You know, our business manager people at the same time I wanted to be conservative with them not knowing what was going on um, and so we didn't buy them but if you, you brought, talk about the tables if you're doing capital requests it's got to be over 5,000 tables aren't 5,000 I, I think they, they will be they, you think they were? yeah because yeah, we looked at just one that was for little kids and what was it like almost 2,000 okay. so is that what are those the only ones that we're thinking about replacing no, no, for no. like the little kids no we we had talked about getting one for little kids, we don't have any right now right. that are for the, our youngest kids. But the tables need to be replaced. Um, so they're not functioning the way they, they should? They, <coughs> I'm just function, asking. They're just showing wear and tear. I mean, it, again, it's right. not. It doesn't have to happen, but it might be something. It's not critical. Have a trailing list item, or if we have some windfall. The chairs are fine. <laughs> <laughs> the chairs are fine. And what about um, to get on radar anything for the playground or preschool playground or anything like that? Um, I don't know if we want to do that through capital or, and this is something I know nothing about, but um, it, can CPA money be used for playground? Can be. Absolutely. So I was mm -hmm. thinking that maybe that's the way we should go with the preschool playground. So there's still a desire to have a playground specifically for preschool. Mm -hmm. We just haven't really plotted that out or anything. Yeah, okay. we've talked about having. Yeah, since we didn't use any money on the new softball field for C CPA money, maybe we can use it for the playground. Mm -hmm. I do like the soccer field set up out there. Yeah, that nice looks nice. That, that's playing. nice. Yeah, but that worked out. It worked out well. Yeah, well, yeah. 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 Not too much wear and tear on the school or anything. No, the, the bathroom thing will have to be worked out differently next year, but we're going to have a different entry system anyway, so. Okay. Even a portable toilet for two months or something. No, thank you. <laughs> I'd, rather have, I'd rather have kids coming in than using one of the bathrooms. <laughs> you say that? Now. Yeah. Right. You say that? It worked out, right? Warren, didn't you think it was? Dan does not agree. It was fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. An, an adult went with kids. Good morning, Whiteley Elementary uh -huh. School students well. and staff. We are. Yeah, it's nice. I think now, it's great. You, we are your announcers today. I am Courtney here with Alia and Michaela. Today is Friday, November eighth. The weather will be rain and snow <laughs> this morning in with show. clouds and fog. That's on tape. Later today. <laughs> this has been pre-recorded. <laughs> Lunch today is cold pork and bacon. Oh, wow. That sounds good. <laughs> Our today from first grade is Chloe. All right. <laughs> I pledge allegiance <laughs> to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is time to inter introduce our theme of the month, which is empathy and compassion. Empathy is understanding what others, what other person is feeling. Compassion is an action you take when you feel empathy for others. Our quote today is Acting with Compassion. It is by Lou Till. One of the secrets of life, of life is that all that is really worth doing is what we do for others. One more um, quick announcement. Congratulations to the Frontier Red Hawks. Both the Pee Wees and the Juniors won the Super Bowl. The Pee Wees were victorious over South Hadley with a score of 6-0. 
juniors walked off with a 12-8 win over Franklin. Great job. Thank you, and have a terrific Tuesday. Tuesday. One more announcement. Today is Picture Week Take Day. Um, Lola will come and help manage that. Thanks. Bye-bye. Picture Day? Retake. Probably can squeeze you in. Yeah, if you want, they're doing it right down the hall. Wallet size. <laughs> the wallet size is the hand out to people. Will it, will it be? Will it be that big? You, I'm sure you could order one. Right? <laughs> We're willing. Okay, capital yeah. projects. We were talking about uh, tables and then the playground. So yeah, CPA is a great idea. So where do I go with that? Uh, I don't know, but I can find out. <laughs> so, I'm looking at you. <laughs> yeah. You guys, have, there's a CPA committee in town. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you, let's start to get a general idea. Of, yeah, of I think you're going to you need want. a plan of like how much, what you want to do, and then you have a dream plan and so, a realistic plan. I just had Cindy Mayek out. And she's that's what she does. She's a consultant. I just had her out to Conway. She met with me. We talked about some stuff, and she sent me some great quotes. And that's that's the place to get started, mm -hmm. you know. And then you reach out to the other playground companies, Play World, and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. So can you set something up for her to come here? I absolutely can. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. When we did this one, I can't tell you how many years ago I was part of it and uh, helped putting it together, mixing concrete that day. But the company that we had had a guy on site for the whole day. You know, we had it's, it's like a bunch of volunteers. It's a big, That's exactly it's a big, big volunteer yeah. thing. It's 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 so gratifying seeing everything getting put together, cemented in place, the spreading of the special mulch that they had delivered from mm -hmm. somewhere truckloads of that stuff and it was it was it was rewarding doing it at the end of the day the kids smiles when they were able to use it and stuff i mean that's it was nice okay, that'd be fun. bob halpin playground yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have the bob Halla generator, generator. <laughs> we need a sign oh, oh my god, god. i'm gonna get a plaque oh jeez. <laughs> I asked them about, because um, initially they had said there was going to be a fence around the generator. Um, <clears throat> so I had asked about that because I know there was money left over from the generator project. So yeah. Someone is looking into that. They didn't want to completely fence it in, but I thought even just like one side so it... Less of a nice... So it's hidden. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Yeah, I don't want anything that impedes their ability to maintain it or whatever, but if they could... Just put one couple panels of privacy things inside it. So it's cheap, four by fours and a couple you don't want six by eight panels. Curious kids walking over there. Either. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get too many kids back there. <laughs> That's good. If we do, then there's a problem. Okay, so we have we have plenty of projects, which is good, and but not too many. Correct. I mean, if you go back to summarize the the original ones. Um, you know, continue, uh, the continue the floor replacement, um, the kitchen hood, um, the code recommendations for co the kitchen hood. There's two kitchen hood projects. There's one that's a code, it's the code upgrade for 17,000, and there's a full hood upgrade, which is like almost close to 50,000. So we're just looking at the code code levels there for 17,000, and then um, we're going to look at the skylights. For seven thousand seven hundred, so rounding up to eight thousand. Um, that's what we'll ask for for realistically the next year, and mm -hmm. then adding on the driveway to put on the radar for the next coming years to decide how they want to move forward with that. Mm -hmm. The other things that we have will be on our secondary list, and we're also looking at the energy audit, um, especially when we're talking about um, skylights and the see if there's anything around there's the energy. Any opportunity right. to so, <clears throat> you know, the only thing I would say that we that we really want to make sure we're, we get fun. I mean, kind of like, I like the A, B, and C it, so mm -hmm. we want to be realistic with the towns because yeah. they may have other priorities other years, but we really want to make sure we we'll continue with the floor upgrades, yeah. um, that we don't stop that momentum there. Um, and uh, <coughs> you know, and then we can do the other two things after that, so kind of an A and B, B, and drop a B and a C. I mean, it's coming. <laughs> probably some patchwork. There's probably there's a couple of few good potholes that are going to grow this winter, I'm sure. So, mm -hmm. but we can probably talk to our friends in the town to. Keith will come. Yeah, Keith is good. Take care. Of it. You got lines on my street. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> Never had lines oh before. Wow. We got lines. Keep those people on that side of that line. Being in a big city. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like new baseball fields. That line stuff. <laughs> I got to go out there once a week. Lime. It's called. Oh, okay. All right, so paper versus digital. Now, I sent you an email about this. This is far more complicated yes, than you think it is, okay? So, as I'm um, through all my papers. I know, as we all have a lot of paper in front of us. And yeah, I'm looking at people, everybody, this seems to be a paper committee. Um, I, know, I know in our hearts we want to be um, environmentally conscious, but um, if we're making errors because we don't have the proper information in front of us, it's worth the paper. So I say that out loud. Um, if we do go to become, well, this was for those who are watching what the heck we're talking about. At the <laughs> joint committee, we talked about being paperless. And everybody was like, oh, paperless. And then I went back to do it, and I was like, we have a lot of remission to trans put out there. And if it's buried in files, and that's not how you process, that's not doing any good. It's not allowing us to do our job. So um, I mean, you're talking about a couple hundred sheets of paper a year. It's worth the millions of dollars of budgets that we're in charge of. So I'm just saying it that way. but. Um, or we can do parts. Some things we can be digital, and some things cannot. Um, it would be won't. different if we could all have a laptop here, but that doesn't. It's not very conducive to. I was, you know, that was one of the things. Well, the I'm not a computer person, but I, you know, I'm, e I'm easy to bring one as long as I'm hooked up to Wi-Fi, and you know, I'm kind of stupid when it comes to computers. But I, you know, I like. I'd rather look at a computer and look at the things than this, but you can't really write on that where you can write on this. I mean, that's what it's I just it's just about how you want to. I know again. I know it's it's, it's a silly. It sounds silly, cause, but but it is a. It's how we you know people keep on saying go digital and mm -hmm. we send it all out to you. And if you're not, well, will you project it? it? Could you project it on the screen here? Well, I can. We so can. we can be following it that way. I mean, that's another way. Well, to we can that we can that do could, any of these. That things. would make that could be I that, that could be. I mean, you're going to have. Do you have any library laptops? That technically. Mm -hmm. we can no. Do no. But we've got plenty we have of Chromebooks. Chromebooks. So you can hand out Chromebooks at the end of each meeting. Yeah, I mean that, that would be my thought is to have the Chromebooks ready. We could just use those. And if the page is open, all I have to do is look at it and scroll up and down or whatever. I mean. I mean, it takes a little setup. Someone's going to have to help get those organized. Yeah. Do you guys have? I have my own laptop. Up at no, um, logins for yeah for the they Gmail. Do. There was someone who Gmail did. We all we all did it. We all signed. Yeah, up. I thought there was someone who yes. hadn't. Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go take care of it today. I told Donna you were going to come in. and She was going to help set you up. Oh yes, going today. You better before my show up. Here you go. I think um, projecting it could be a good idea too. Yeah, because then people you can could follow see it along it. and take notes, and then it's on the screen also. Okay. Potentially. It's, however, you guys want to do your business. Your can we try the next meeting up on the screen? Sure. Is that something that you can handle? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, maybe All right. that's a starting point. Yeah. On that, yeah. On that laptop. Right. And so then, at least if it's somewhere that we can then start thinking well, we about can, using just paper, just electronic like do paper on that for now and just bring a notepad like you do or Darius does or that's right. it for me we we don't care how you do it if yeah. you want even if you want to stay a paper I'm, I'm still half right. paper half whatever like there are certain things I keep in paper and there's certain things that I do digital okay. um, it's okay I'm just telling you it's okay you don't have to yeah. be we're not we're not shaming people in the digital age in fact paper age is, up, is somewhat easier in some levels um, but we just have to be consistent, consistent. because we we're different departments here, the three yeah. of us, and, and including Bill here as well, four <coughs> departments, and if one of us brings a handout in our hand, and we're digital, or right. especially when you talk about the warrants, the warrants is, you know. They have to be. Well, not just the warrants, the warrants are paper, but the, uh, uh, what am I looking thinking of? The, uh, the reports. The, the reports. expenditure reports. You know, some people like to be able to read through them and write on them. It's very difficult, not say very difficult, it's, it's a different yeah, type it's of to processing do to do it on, on whatever, on the uh, right. screen. So. But some people say that you get them ahead of time, you can have a chance to read them, you do get them ahead of time, and you know, that kind of thing. So it really is. Well, we get everything attachments ahead of time, mostly, except for mm -hmm. maybe one or two things Correct. that you guys bring to the meeting. So I guess my proposal would be anything that's sent out ahead of time doesn't need to be brought to the meeting. Is that fair? If we have a Chromebook, we can look at it mm -hmm. here while we're. It would work for me, and I'll just bring a little notepad. And, and 
And that'd be perfect. Right, and if you have, right. I'm just saying and we're so not. there may be one offs. You're, you're welcome to have a, doing a little bit of both as well, and you have some things because there will be some handouts that I'll have to do in meetings. Yeah. Um, you know any <coughs> executive session stuff and that kind of stuff be done by handouts, and there might be other odds yeah. and ends that are. Um, so how about anything that is sent ahead of time doesn't need to then be copied and brought to the okay. meeting, so then we have it yep. available yeah. online, but then anything new just would become common paper. So additionally, because now that you guys have emails, you also have Gmail, um, you have uh, Google accounts, mm -hmm. and we are able to create um, a Google Drive for this committee, Excellent. and so we, it's you already been, it's already been created. Uh -huh. So when you go to your, and I, we can show you guys how to do this at the, at the end of the next meeting, um, but we're creating a file so you have all the agendas of all the committee meetings are now stored in one place. In one place. Awesome. All the minutes are stored in one place. So if all you miss a meeting, right, oh. everything we everything we're creating, we're dropping we into there. Just put it in there so. and put a link to it. Us so not only that, but we can decide how we want to make that public too, so that oh, okay. people can then go in. We can right now we can link into those, but so we're working on it. So as I when I told Donna to create all the email accounts, she goes, "Well, we can do this too." And we're mm -hmm. like, "Wow, this will be a lot easier." Yeah, that'll be really. So they so I've had years of books and books and binders with everything yeah. in it, and then you know after four years, okay, what do I do? And they're trying to get rid of all that paper. Yeah, it's huh? Yeah. Well, you can bring it to the office too, and we can. If you have school. Files you have yeah. to get rid of. We have a we have a shredding contract in a dumpster recycling dumpster. Right so, so. All right. We also have a shredding. Or you can bring it here, and Chrissy will shred it for you. <laughs> That's not what you just said. That's okay. All right. Um, <coughs> I guess it goes back to you, Madam Chair. Reports. I have Sorry. something. So reports, capital projects we just went through, nothing. The only thing I want to add is, is uh, the, the generator holds just under 400 gallons. Uh, it'll run for 64 hours on that tank, which is about three days. So Great. close to three days. So okay. that, those are the numbers. Great. Yeah. And you know how much that, how much it is to fill the tank? It doesn't matter because Keith's doing it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate the town taking care of that. We more. sure did. Right? That's what Bill meant to say. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have they have a they have a price, so that goes on the price. Yeah, they get deal. a good deal. It goes behind the price, they get diesel. Yeah, yeah. they get a good deal. It's probably <laughs> two bucks a gallon. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good. Um, let's hope we don't need to use it too much this year, but it's yeah. there if we need it. Right. It's a nice thing to have. Um, nice to be able to test it on a day when it wasn't a tremendous price. Crazy. Right. It's not zero degrees outside. Is there anything that didn't run that you want to see run? <laughs> Not. It should run the whole year. Did it take care of the kitchen? You're the biggest one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Out of all the schools. The kitchen, some of it's gas, yeah. too, so. Or propane or natural gas. The stoves are, right? The stoves are natural gas. What, what you know, know, the main, when you do a generator hookup, they're going to have the main lines. They're going to make sure that your kitchen runs, your, your communication runs, and your water and whatnot runs. H and the heat HVAC runs. Yeah. So you hit those main things, the other ones, all of a sudden you have a closet that wasn't lit up. Or, you know, I don't think. Thing. Was there anything? I think it's the whole building, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was everything. Yeah. In the bigger That's the biggest generator in the district. Um, so I don't have any update other than <coughs> our last meeting was the joint meeting, and that's where we really talked about the nice award that the school got um, for the MCAS scores, and I'm not going to do justice right now, but I just want to acknowledge and thank you for all your hard work last year, and <coughs> looking forward to another good year. <coughs> Um, well, but it was a really great testament to the school and the efforts here. Yeah, everybody. obviously it's a team effort. Yeah, so everyone that uh, takes leadership for both of you. So thank you for all that. I have something as a committee member. Yes. Went to uh, MASC's uh, conference uh, for three days. I had the pleasure of being with Mr. Decker from, from Deerfield. He's on the front beer board. Uh, for a person that's full of knowledge and knowing everybody, and I mean everybody, mm -hmm. between the hotel person, the restaurant <laughs> people, the uh, you know MASC people down there. I mean, I mean it was it was pretty good being with him. We, we, I did went to a few uh, other conferences. Uh, I wish they had more things on regional areas, but they don't. Mm -hmm. One day they had four things crammed in <coughs> an hour and. 
20 minutes or 15 minutes and they barely got through two of them and made the other two rush so they could have probably spent and I'll send them a little a little thing on it because uh, uh, us out here in Western Mass and other regional schools is a big plus to have our, our say about a lot of things and they talked about you know transportation uh, and other things um, Darius went to a keynote speaker. I went in there and I, as we, I hate closed areas. I really hate areas with too many people and then it's too warm, but I think they could have, you know, more better keynote speakers and stuff. And we didn't stay for any dinners or anything there. We, we went out and eat mm -hmm. a couple nights and stuff, mm -hmm. so. How many people went from our district? Uh, our there was region? four, four of us four? all together. Olivia, uh, uh, Leon. Leon from Deerfield, uh, also a Frontier member. Um, Elaine Campbell. Sure. Elaine Campbell yeah. came in too. Okay. She's from Conway. Um, so it's, it was, I mean, it Had was. Had you ever I, been before? I went uh, years ago. quite a few years ago when I got a 10 year award down there. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, they charge you a lot for a meal. We decided not to spend the $65 a head for a meal and we mm -hmm. went out for half that price, okay. uh, which worked out well. But I also went to some of the vendors, you know, they, there's some good vendors and there's some vendors I didn't like, but there's this particular one I went through, I'm gonna, there's two sides of this, I want everybody to look at it. Um, this is some of the material, it's a sticky type of material. You'll see how they have different things on floors, something you could put on walls. I'll pass that around. I also showed you this. Mm -hmm. This is some of the things they can just take off my phone, off your computer, send it to their computer that's hooked up to it, mm -hmm. uh, put that's it in, and it's company. same company, and it prints. Large I mean, I stood there for five minutes or eight yeah. minutes or so, and it got printed in that short of time. Um, I think this could be used for school functions, but also as fundraisers. Instead of mm -hmm. buying plaques, you can make your own plaques. So if you if you were giving out awards to a bunch of people and they sell the little plaque material that you could stick this stuff onto, <coughs> which is relatively cheap, but you could do, I think she said you could do like eight plaques or 10, I think it was eight plaques per sheet. And this comes in a roll, roll I think does between 60 and 80 of this size and it costs about a dollar. Mm -hmm. You could do fundraisers where and we talked about a little bit. You could, you know, somebody came in and somebody wanted a poster of like this. You could charge four dollars or five dollars and have some type of fundraiser. The machine itself costs right around forty-two hundred bucks, and it gives you everything to get going. And Chrissy, I'll give you the, the lady's contact. But there's something that if you contact them, they have like a, a YouTube video that you can watch and basically shows you how, how you can go through things. But I think, I mean, uh, Olivia thought it'd be a great one too, whether it was for Frontier or for one of the other schools, but I think it's, I think it's a, me, I think it's a worse, I think it's a worse. Frontier wanna buy one for us and we'll just For everybody, <laughs> But I really think that. Did you um, get um, a price range for? 4,200 bucks. Oh, okay. For everything to get going. I mean, a whole roll, yep. plus some other things. Um, but it, it was pretty cool, you know. I took my picture, sent it to their, sent it to their email or whatever, or their phone number, and it went right into their computer. And like I said, it's a couple minutes later once they dialed in the picture and stuff and printed it. But stuff that you could put on our new floors, little, you know, little dude. I mean, if you saw <laughs> your I mean, nice new floors. I mean, yeah, on the stairs. I mean, but there. even stair, I mean, stair treads and stuff. I mean. No, but you, if you have like a part. first grade class or kindergarten that you want to put, what's lily this pads. One? Is it lily pads? <laughs> yeah, it could be a little jump thing. I mean, a, little, a you lot can of make schools a game. are doing that. It's a it's a sensory walk, so there are certain activities that the kids have to do at each one of those mm -hmm. spots. But like um, at Frontier, when we it have eventually starts coming up and it's left dirt where it's yeah. sticky. So, but like at Frontier, when they do football night or basketball night or anything that's inside the gym, mm. you can print the kid's picture for a dollar and really decorate it up and stuff versus 
you know, magic marker, which is fine yeah, also, but here's a pin. could buy it for We used to, uh, we used to have it at the old school when it was due for banners. Teachers made posters for the classroom. Yeah, we, we have that where I work, and it's really awesome. Do you have one now where you work? In my office, yeah. Oh. If you notice, like, you do. Oh, we don't need do, one. We'll just send order some order. No, but yeah, I'm just but saying it's, like, really is nice to have I mean, if right you have there. a particular yeah. classroom that wants awards, instead of buying the awards and filling them out, you can do everything right on the computer, and you could probably put like four or six of those on a full sheet. They could set it up on the on the computer for you know for kids' awards. Right. Um, the key is someone has to ma manage it. Yep. I mean, one person. So I mean, one person. Where, where it whatever school it would be, and be in charge of it. But there again, I mean, you can make money on it to help offset it, or it could be something you could save on future things when you're trying to buy awards. If we give out a lot of awards or plaques on the walls. Like I said, they do sell the plaque material, and all you have to do is have the sticky thing, put it right on, on the plaque and stuff. So I'll leave you all that good stuff, okay. except for all this right. picture. So. <laughs> That's all I have. Oh, I had one question. You, and I'm not even sure. I know the intercom system mm -hmm. is oh, all yeah. done. How's everything working with the intercom system? It's, um, what? It, it's OK. It, in order to Bugs. make an announcement, you have to dial in and wait for wait for the machine to pick up, and then you got to put in a code. So there's a delay between, which, which I think on a normal day is not an issue. But if we were having a real emergency, Price. there's there's some time there between when Mary would pick up the phone to make the announcement and when she actually gets through. Oh, I was asked, Mary, how long is that? I don't know. 30 seconds, no, 45 minute, seconds? Minute or so. Okay. okay. Is it? There was an emergency. That's that's you need to get time, a, a yeah. line, like if there is a service. Brand, 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 brand new, brand new. Brand new. Who put it in? Do we go back? Scott Paul put it in, right? Yeah, but it was, uh, yeah, it was what company? No. Is it Valley Communications? I mean, it's one of the major contractors I can find out. And typically they're pretty easy, like pound something and then you can talk. No. Yes, this is our old system used to be that way. Yeah. Um, and the new system, it's just surprising that the new system doesn't work as well as the old system in some regards. Um, they were having a hard time getting our PA system to talk to the new system in the first place. So they had to do sort of a workaround to get this to work, which is, I believe, why there's a delay. Okay. But like I said, on a, you know, making morning announcements, it's not it's not a big deal. It's just no, but if we safety wise, it kind of is. I mean, realistically speaking, you could stand in the hall there and scream, and everyone would hear you. Would hear you. And every we have, you know, the the backup is that when someone's making some sort of emergency announcement, they're making the announcement into the radio as well, and it's going to all the classrooms. So. We do have a way to get Is something on top of that to see if, if there's a better way or? I think that was the better way. That brings up for me that um, capital requests can also be technology requests, I think. But, like we need to keep that in mind as we're thinking about what else we might need done. And maybe do we want Scott to come to the next meeting to talk through um, sort of what are the technology needs? Because some of those could be over 5,000 potentially that we could put in a request for. So it's good to keep those in mind mm -hmm. at the same time. <clears throat> okay, anyone else? Um, Katie, you sent to me the, uh, oh, the, the collaborative. collaborative. It actually fits underneath. Um, the update? I mean, we, we can vote it at the December meeting if you want, or if you tell them the vote is coming, if you want to do a pre-read of the vote, I can read it off at it in front of me now. So, yeah, I'm worried. Yeah, I <coughs> meant, mentioned at the last meeting, but um, you probably were my mistake oh, okay. there. And you may have heard it from other school committee members that um, two Hampshire County schools, Gateway and Worthington, Gateway Regional Worthington, have applied to become members of the collaborative and there's a whole process involved and at the last collaborative meeting in September we voted to allow them in and then the next step is for it to come to the school committee 
and the school committee has to vote it in uh, every school committee that's a member and then I think the chair has to sign off on it and I think after that it goes to Desi mm -hmm. it's all been very straightforward mm -hmm. I don't know of any reason not to vote them in yeah we've been we've been on the, in the collaborative for quite a few years I remember being on the mm -hmm. board when when we what we joined was, I think we all somewhat joined at the same time all the elementary schools and stuff which was which was really nice helpful so it's due in January you know what I'll do is I'll put it on all the agendas for all the committees next month yeah that way it'll just be easy. we could probably vote it right now but it'll be just easier if I'll put it there it'll be, well, I don't uh, know if we have to I gotta post. I gotta post it. It is a vote. Yeah. It's a formal so vote. So there's a collaborative meeting tomorrow night, I think. Um, but I just read through it, and it says it has to be done by January. Yeah. So, it so if we get it done in December, December but I can let Bill know. Yeah. Because I don't know if he needs to be present or not, or if we can. It just sounds like he he's happy to come, but I'm not he sure he has to be here. Right. He I'm sure he. That's a lot of school committees. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out. He he volunteers to come out to give kind of updates on different things. Um, be a joint we, we brought him to the thing. joint meeting yeah. several years ago. He mm -hmm. either came to a was it Frontier or a joint meeting. I can't remember. It was um, a joint meeting. It was a joint meeting. Yeah. Um, to kind of give updates. Out um, Sorry for the interruption. Anyone, student or staff, that have not had their pictures taken, uh, please go to the um, hallway by the gym to have it done at this time. Last call. All students and teachers, staff that have not had their well picture taken this year, to go, go out to the hallway. No, I'm going to wait for this machine. <laughs> <laughs> he wants the big one. Go visit Katie. Um, that work. Yeah, I'll get you one. <laughs> oh, I was only saying to have Bill come out unless there was something profoundly that would impact our school. Seems pretty use time, his time that way or use our time in that way we you know having two new members especially gateway regional has been around forever i think one of the schools <coughs> used to be a member worthington divided from gateway regional when they closed their elementary school and then they reopened them and then they opened as a private school and then they became their own regional school and now they're kind of working with Hampshire Regional, so it's interesting yeah, they come in at the same time. They politics there. Yeah. I wonder if they have to come in hand in hand just to show <laughs> to be there to get it. Exactly. Camaraderie. Okay, great. So we'll add that to the next. So I, yeah, I put on the agenda. Put on the agenda for the next time, and that'll be a straightforward vote. Um, Anything else for you? No, that Thank was you. it. Because there hasn't been a meeting, meeting. since September. Mm -hmm. Okay, principal. Um, I have paper copies. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so on November 1st, interestingly the day after Halloween, uh, we had on the half day, we did uh, a reunification drill with the state and local police. So the families who were coming to do pickups that day um, participated in the process. Um, it was interesting to, to see it in action. I hadn't seen it done before. Um, the folks here have seen it done in June of 2018 when they had to <coughs> leave here and mm -hmm. go to Frontier. So they had a chance to um, practice that before. So um, it went really well. We saw the places where we can improve. Um, but overall, the state police were pleased with how it went. Uh, we also had our Halloween party, um, and a, a huge shout out to the PTO who puts in their own time, and we have a lot of uh, parent volunteers who come in just for that event. There are some um, expert haunted house designers um, who put that all together for us, um, and it, it was a great night. We had, we had a really high attendance. <coughs> um, last Friday. <coughs> I have the wrong date, it was the 8th. We're all confused about dates here <laughs> lately. Um, we had the Veterans Day Assembly, and uh, we have sort of the same group of veterans who comes to visit us regularly. Um, and each grade prepared something and, and either presented something to the veterans or did some sort of performance or essay reading. I was here for that, and it was really nice, mm -hmm. and they they said that we does the best veterans day. <laughs> <laughs> they really appreciated it. 
um, it, it's a great opportunity for the kids to to see sort of up close what it is that we're we're taking time out to to honor on the Veterans Day and Memorial Day. Um, the Eagle Brook concert band and jazz band visited us last week as well, and it was awesome. Um, it was very inspirational for those kids who are playing in our band right now. Mm -hmm. um, there's some some differences between Eagle Brook and here. Those those kids are they stay overnight, so they've got a little a little <laughs> edge on us in terms of practice time. Um, it was a really great show. And next week, uh, next Monday, we'll begin our first Genius Hour session. And I think we talked about that before. We talked about Genius uh, Hour. Remind me. <laughs> um, so it, it started off being a, a Google thing. They, um, they give 20% of the work week to employees to do a project of their own choosing. Mm -hmm. um, and it, in the long run, it benefits Google because lots of innovation comes mm -hmm. out of that. So this has been adopted by lots of schools across the, the country. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it comes in different forms. Um, we're doing an eight-week session. It's actually longer than eight weeks, but eight Mondays, which through the holidays takes us <laughs> close to four months, um, where the entire school on Monday afternoon from 1.30 to 3.00, will be engaged in Genius Hour. So the kids have already been working in their classrooms to think about um, what kind of project they might want to engage in. So lots of talk about their own personal interests or things that they'd like to, to know more about. Um, and the there's lots of information out there about ways that this falls apart in some schools. So it's good that other places have, have tried it. I think we have a really good structure in place. All the staff members will be involved in it. So. Um, the kids will work independently on their own project, but within a group of six to eight kids, and there'll be an advisor, a staff advisor for each group. So I think in terms of being able to keep things moving, that should that should be helpful. But I'm very excited about it. It's um, you know the goals for it are to develop independence, to get kids excited about coming to school, and to um, the, I mean the, the big idea is to help them learn how to fail, and our, mm. our big thing this year is um, failing forward, which is looking at what didn't work and fixing it up and, and moving on. So um, we are excited Sounds about cool. that. Yeah, it's, it's been, we've been planning it since last February or March. Mm -hmm. So. And you'll have a fair where you At the end, it'll be, it'll be like a <coughs> science fair, but mm -hmm. um, the way that the kids, whatever their project is, it could end up being uh, some sort of digital presentation. It could be an old-fashioned, you know, poster board presentation. It could be a, a play that they write. It could be some something that they design. So mm -hmm. it'll it'll look different for every kid. Great. And when we uh, nail down the date for that, I will let you yeah, know. Yeah, that's good. Sounds great. Okay. Anything else? No, that's, no. that's it for me. How about? Wait, hang on. Yeah, hang on one second there. I have one announcement on my superintendent report that we haven't talked about recurring Sorry. outside negotiations is I wanted to recognize um, Diana Capuano, who retired at the end of October oh. after 23 years of service in our special ed department uh, as a special ed secretary. So she really handled mm -hmm. all the paperwork um, for families and students. Wheatley, and so I want to thank her. We gave her a nice little send off party on her last day, mm -hmm. which was Halloween, so very, <laughs> very nice. Um, <clears throat> also, my superintendent report is that the negotiations continue with the teachers, and we're going to go into an executive session to discuss how that's going. And okay. when we come out, we're not we'll going to do any other, we're not gonna any other business. So yep. as far as, I don't need to take your role, but that's the, no, 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 no. That's the mm -hmm. thing there. So. Okay. so we'll and we'll. Everybody else can leave the meeting, is what we're saying. Yeah. And we'll finish just this. We'll do no business afterwards. Okay. Thank I, you. I have one question for Shelly. Shelly, when I signed the. Um, signed the card, when I signed the warrants, it's just a quick question. Uh, a couple of kids that we bust from the Greenfield Little Beans program, is that a school choice thing? 
I will have to find out. <clears throat> and I see that we're painting wings, you know, for the two kids too. That's just transportation, but I also see that we're doing it, that we're picking two kids in Greenfield, I think three days a week going to the wings program. So I'm not sure if that's part of um, school choice. If it is, we're getting reimbursed from Greenfield. If it is, I'm that's, that's, that's what, I'm yes. I'm that, I, I don't usually look, and I just happen to see it. So just a so, it have, so if you have a student that is school choice into your elementary school, and then the student's needs grow to a point where they no longer can be serviced in that elementary school, and they get placed in another school um, that may have those programs, you would think they would just remove the school choice school and just go from the sending school straight yeah. to the new program, but it ends up going boom to boom to boom because this school made the placement to the other school. <coughs> and so the money then would trickle on back. So it seems like there's all, the money has to go to three different locations. It does. It does. It does. And again, it's a Western Mass problem. Right. Eastern Mass mm. doesn't have the school choice like we do, so that it's not right. big enough problem state wise for them to fix that. But I just want it is, it, it is, a, is a bookkeeping nightmare on some levels because as we look at different students who are, oh, that's a school choice student in, that's went through one school, then went through another school, we have, it happens. Often, right? Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that in our schools, I, I know we are on top of it, but I just want to make sure if, oh, we if we're paying for it, yeah, that oh. we're getting real. Oh, absolutely, getting, uh, yeah, absolutely. That's <laughs> we're definitely looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Okay, yeah. well, thank, thank you, Bill. Thank you, thank you, Bill. Nice to see everyone. Thank you. Very we're gonna much. take a roll call vote to yeah. go on. Okay. Roll call. I was just going to say the MGL 30A section 21A three to this that strategies respect for collective bargaining. Okay. Roll call. Bob, call. yes. Maureen. Maureen, yes. Katie, yes. 